Well, I say that unprecedented change I have witnessed in China in the last 20 years. In terms of its infrastructure development, in terms of that uh, people's well-being, and the, in terms of technological advancement, in terms of the socio-economic uh, changes, people's life, uh, it's a tremendous change. That this is not a surprise, this is not a gift, this is not a windfall game. This is a hard work of their uh, people and the visionary leader and continuously uh, giving a, a good leadership to the, to the, and the good policies that uh, the uh, government has introduced uh, and the, uh, the people followed. Their disciplined, hardworking nature and the uh, long history of the uh, advanced civilization uh, brought in uh, in their society. Uh, year 2019 is the historic year in terms of our bilateral relation. In this year, we had the two state visits, one from our president to China and another was the Chinese president to Nepal. This visit has opened up a new era in our relations uh, to promote the relationship in the connectivities like the railways, roadways, tunnels, tunnels uh, and the aviation connectivity, power transmissions and the cultural connectivity and people-to-people -people connections. A multi-dimensional connectivity through that, we can bring the people of both countries together, share their knowledge, expertise, and resources, and then explore the possibilities of developing available resources for advancing their own economies, and then sharing the benefit from that explorations. Belt and Road Initiatives has come up as a new public good for the uh, uh, connectivities and also the uh, promoting uh, common development uh, through common efforts and sharing common benefits. That's why the BRI is a great opportunity for the countries, developing countries, to advance their economy in a faster pace, in the more balanced way, and the secured uh, goal of common development or common prosperity. Uh, we see that uh, the China's development, as well as China's proposal for BRI, is an opportunity for us. That's why we have joined this and that we want to uh, grow together with the other world, other countries. We want to develop our uh, conditions of people's life together with the other countries and then our people deserve a decent life. Uh, more inclusive world, more uh, advanced but that no one left behind in the development discourse, get benefit from the development. That's why the China's BRI, what we think is that China has made a big progress Although developing country, but it has very much a, in a fast pace developed its economy. Now China wants to uh, share their uh, development experience, their technology, their capability in terms of fundings to the other world as a new source of funding for the development. And then we should take it as an opportunity. This is a good opportunity for us.